Dear friends, I find the readings for this Sunday particularly challenging. And I've sort of reduced it down to one idea, and that is speaking the truth in love. We've all heard this before. Well, we need to speak the truth in love. But do we really do that? What's the truth and what's love? <laughs> These are hard questions, and how do you put the two together? Well, uh, it's certainly for Ezekiel, it was a difficult thing. He was asked to be a watchman. And a watchman is a difficult task in the Old Testament. Um, probably stationed up on a tower, city down below, and out looking to see if there's any enemies coming. I bet you it was cold and blustery up there while everyone else is sleeping or having a party or something. But... It's the watchman's job to save the life of everybody in that city. Wow, that's a big responsibility, right? And so um, God's asking Ezekiel to be a moral watchman. In other words, if God tells Ezekiel that he's got to approach the people because of their sin, he has to be direct to them and say, you need to repent. And, and if he does that, the people don't repent, well then it's on their head. But supposing Ezekiel says, I'm not going to tell them. I'm not going to confront them. I'm just going to let them go. Well, God would say, hey, listen, I'm going to blame you for that. I'm going to bring it on you. The watchman's responsibility. He's responsible. And so, the bright side is, if he does confront the people, and the people repent, then he saves his life, and the people save theirs too. So that's good. But when we get into the um, the gospel, there's something very important here. And speaking the truth in love is so hard. I, and quite frankly, you don't see it very much. Because um, when someone sins against us, instead of going to that person and being direct, what do we do? Honestly, what do we do? Honestly, well, often we go to somebody else and we talk about that person. And when we're doing that, we're not giving that the offender a chance to repent. We're not loving that person. We're ostracizing that person. We're manipulating around and, and being political about things. That is not speaking the truth in love. As a matter of fact, we're making those people outcast. And we do it all the time. Well, Jesus said, listen, be direct. Out of love for that person. To have the courage to love that person and say, hey, listen, this is what I see. This is how I have experienced you in your actions and your words. And if the person, we're maybe be afraid of the wrath of that person or whatever we're afraid of. Um, if that person, you know, becomes challenging and, and, and won't hear us, bring a, a third party into it. See if we can work it out. And if the third party doesn't work, you know, bring, bring the whole church together in it, or the leaders of the church or do something about involving the church, you know, because the whole point is to save that person's soul. And only after that is that person basically making himself an out or herself an outcast. And Jesus said, you treat them like an outcast. I mean, it sounds pretty, um, pretty final. It sounds pretty... Um, drastic, but by doing that, maybe that person will repent someday and come back. So, these are not easy readings, okay? I mean, there is the St. Paul's epistle reading, which is, is wonderful, which fits into this whole thing, and that is oh, no one, anything but to, but to love. And, and, and in the context of all these readings, it's really, we owe it to people challenge them about their sin. 
And we can't do that unless we take the beam out of our own eyes, right? And so we have to do it with love, with humility. And that's what we're going to try to do here coming up this year with um, the bearing the beams of love. It's, it's really speaking the truth in love. A lot of hard things to deal with. But Jesus has told us that we have to do the hard thing. Ezekiel had to do the hard thing. We have to do the hard thing too. And it's all for the salvation of the us and all those around us. God bless.